Donny van der Beek will be Manchester United's first signing this summer, but all United fans are hoping that he won't be the last. Now, could the next signing be Deot Upamecano, the 21-year-old centre-back from RB Leipzig, had a sensational Champions League campaign that got them, or helped them, get to the Champions League semi-final this year. And United are now being heavily linked with a move for Upamecano this summer. So what are the stories? Where are they coming from? I'm going to cover all of that to bring you bang up to date in this full story look at the Upper Mencano transfer and whether or not United have any chance of signing him. And make sure you subscribe if you're watching this on United People's TV. If you're new and if you're watching on Facebook, make sure you share the video. It's really helping right now to so keep it up. But let's talk about Deot Upper Mencano. So where are these stories coming from? It started really with ESPN and Mark Ogden on Monday. They were leading with the story that United wanted to sign Deot Upamecano this summer. And on Tuesday, that's been followed up by The Telegraph and The Times. So you've got ESPN, The Times and The Telegraph all reporting that United are interested in signing Upamecano. And there's plenty of details that we need to know about all of this. Because RB Leipzig's English Twitter account was quick to troll United fans, quick to troll everybody really, when they tweeted, in case you missed it, with a picture of Upper Mencano signing a new contract, which he did just sign in July 2020. Does that mean a move won't happen? No. You know, Timo Werner, I swear, recently signed a new contract. And he's not a Leipzig player anymore, is he? Contracts will give Leipzig the best chance of negotiations. But in a weird way, maybe it won't in this situation. Now, there was a clause in his contract, which his previous contract, which expired in June 2021. That would have let him go for 60 million euros, a release clause of 60 million. That's now out in this new contract. But there apparently is a clause in that contract where he can leave at the end of next season for 42 million euros. So while he's committed to Leipzig, he's made sure that he's got an escape route built into that contract. Now, United can exploit that, I think. If we know he's only going to cost 42 million next summer, offer a bit more this summer and the conversations have to be had at Leipzig's board level. Do we hold him for one more year or do we sell him now? Will his price get any higher than it will be? Given the fact that they've just got to the Champions League semi-final. I mean, you probably argue yes, given that he's 21 and years away from his peak as a footballer. But up in Mancano, Solskjaer wants a new centre-back to partner Harry Maguire. That's always been the story all summer long. Nothing has changed on that. And interestingly, if you look at Fabrizio Romano's update, Man United are expecting a new bid from Roma for Chris Smalling to sign him on a permanent contract. Now, selling Chris Smalling would do two things. Number one, it would free a space up in the squad overall. Smalling wasn't here last year, so maybe that's not as important, really. But if Smalling wasn't going to go back to Roma, he would have come back to the squad. It would have bloated the squad. Hopefully, the same goes for Phil Jones, but I'm not sure who's going to want to buy him. Smalling, by comparison is a good centre-back. A bit like when Johnny Evans left us, he was still a good centre-back. The same goes for Smalling. Now, him leaving would clear up wages in the squad and a space in the squad. So it would almost half, or well, probably not half pay for Upper Mencano, but getting him out of the squad and getting him in the squad would be a huge, huge upgrade. And I think the idea of signing Upper Mencano could be absolutely transformative for United this summer. I would put it there... As important as signing Jadon Sancho. Maybe, if not more important, to the overall shape of United's team. And I want to explain exactly what I mean there. Because with Upper Mencano, look, there are plenty of centre-backs out there who are good centre-backs. Great at tackling, good positioning, good at headers. Everything you would expect a centre-back to be. The, the basics of being a centre-back. You could get plenty of examples of good centre-backs. But Upper Mencano... He's got more to his game. And these screenshots from Leipzig's game against Atletico Madrid in the Champions League would explain exactly why. Take these, for example. Look at his starting position here. When he's got the ball, he's in between two Atletico Madrid players. And instead of maybe passing sideways to the midfielder, which would have been a safe option, he drives through the middle of them and brings the ball forward. Upper Mancano is confident with the ball at his feet. And that's not something I think we can really say about any of our defenders. It's a huge problem at United, being able to play out from the back with the ball. We need our centre-backs to do that. That's something that Upper Mencano can do. You look at this one as well, his passing range. He's there in midfield, he dinks it over, over to the left wing, perfect pass. Upper Mencano is capable 
of finding the range when necessary. But it's these screenshots here, which I think really highlight exactly why I would be excited about the idea of signing up a Look at his starting position here. He's there in his own box, two Atletico Madrid players in front of him. Stage one, burst straight through the middle of both of them. Stage two, he's still going. Look, three Atletico Madrid players are trying to chase him now. And then he lays a simple pass off to the right. He doesn't get excited about the fact that he's in the opposition's half. and He's got to do something. He's got to shoot. He can keep it simple, but he can break the lines from defence through midfield into starting attacks. And that's what a modern day centre-back, a top class modern day centre-back, has the ability to do. Harry Maguire, I think he's actually genuinely quite good at that. At points, he certainly was better at Leicester than he, than he is at United, but I feel that's because he doesn't have the, the confidence in his partner. Lindelof, he's had his moments, but so has Eric Bailly, so is Chris Smalling, so is Phil Jones. Unfortunately, I feel those two centre-backs will fall into that moments category rather than falling into a, a category like your Rios and your Vidic's and maybe your Maguire's in the goodness of time. But up in Mancano as a partner, to Maguire. He's got that pace to cover for Maguire's weaknesses. And as a modern centre-back, he can basically be the playmaker from the back. Someone who's confident enough to receive the ball from De Gea or Henderson and bring it out instead of just panicking, passing back or passing sideways. He can turn and face and find the gaps and burst through them. And that is a big reason why I think someone like Upper Mencano could be a huge, huge signing for United. And if he's available for 40, what, 42 million next summer, that's cheap as chips. It would even be cheap to go in with... Fit. Look, if we're willing to pay £80 million for Harry Maguire, we should be willing to spend £50, £60 million to sign Upper Mencano. As the Donny van der Beek deal has shown, there's huge value in the market if you sign the right players. We could have signed David Brooks for £40 million from Bournemouth, who just got relegated. Instead, we just signed Donny van der Beek, a Champions League quality Ajax-bred midfielder. And we could go out and do the same thing here by signing up a Mencano. Leipzig are a set that they're going to fall into the category of Borussia Dortmunds, of your Ajaxes, of a club that knows they have to sell their players at certain points, and it's all built into their business model. Upper Mencano is a player that can transform United's defence. He's available for a reasonable price given his quality. He's young, so he can grow into his position, grow into his ability get better at United, he wouldn't come as a finished deal. That would fall into a Solskjaer type signing, just like Van der Beek is. You look at Upper Mencano and there's, you just keep ticking boxes as to why he would be a good signing for United and could be a great signing for United. But ESPN, The Times, The Telegraph, all reporting that we are interested in signing him this summer and that Solskjaer wants a new centre-back. Smalling out, Upper Mencano in, that would be a hell of an upgrade. Let me know what you're thinking about the Upper Mencano rumours in the comments below. But that's the full story so far. Let's see how this develops. It seems like United are deciding to have a couple of weeks of madness after six-ish weeks of no activity at all. And I'd rather have that than doing nothing. Van der Beek was first. Could Upper Mencano be next? I really hope so. But make sure you subscribe to United People's TV because I'll always bring you the updates as and when they happen on YouTube, on Twitter and on Facebook. Until next time though, Take it easy.